Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. So function points are a very important topic in software engineering, be it for your college exams or for any type of competitive exams. So let's learn about the concept of function points in this video. So first of all, what is the meaning of function points? Function points are basically function oriented software metrics. Okay, what is the meaning of function oriented software metrics? Function oriented software metrics basically focuses on uh, the functionality of the software product. Okay, they, uh, they basically focus on measuring the functionality of the software product. Can we measure the functionality of the software product directly? No, right? So that's why we make use of function points. So how can, what can I say about function points? Function points are basically a unit of measurement. They are basically a unit of measurement which quantifies the functionality of a software product. So with that, we will get a quantity with that measurement quantity, we'll be able to identify how much of uh, business functionality is actually provided by the software product. So these, this function points are actually derived by using two things. One is based on direct measures and the other one is based on uh, some co software complexity assessments okay so one is based on direct measures and the other is based on software complexity assessments so we are we'll be using this direct measures which are going to be countable measures derived from the software domain and the other would be based on software complexity assessments which is going to be indirect measures okay so let's learn about it in detail so first I told you that we are going to have two things. One is direct measures and the second one is software complexity values or factors. So, so we are going to use five direct measures or countable measures for calculating the function points. So there are five measurement para parameters, namely number of user inputs, number of user outputs, number of user inquiries, number of files and number of external interfaces okay there, there are going to be five measurement parameters which are going to be used as direct measures for calculating the function points one is user inputs the second one is user outputs third one is user inquiries fourth one is number of files and fifth one is number of external interfaces now each of these measurement parameters are going to have a weighting factor associated with them if I say that now who is going to determine these weighting factors, these weighting factors are actually determined by the organization based on observations and experiments. Okay, so if I say the number of user inputs for a particular software product has a weighting factor of average, it means it will be given a value of four. If the number of user outputs has a weighting factor of average, it means it will be given a, 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 a value of five. Okay, so these numbers and which number has to be used for which measurement parameter, how to fix these parameters, they are all decided by the organization based on various observations. Okay, so what we have to do for calculating these function points is each measurement parameter is taken and it will be the count of this measurement parameter will be taken and it will be multiplied with its own weighting factor. Okay, for example, let's say the weighting factor for the user inputs is simple then the value of three is the value of value of the weighting factor simple okay so three will be multiplied with the total count of the number of user inputs if the number of user outputs is 15 let's say then and its weighting factor is average then 15 will be multiplied with five okay and this multiplied value will be written here so in this way, we will find out all the values, total values of all these five measurement parameters and they will all be added up together to find something called as count total. This is the count total of the measurement parameters. So the first step in determining the function points is finding out the count total. Count total is measured by using five types of measurement parameters which is obtained from, from the software system. So using these five measurement parameters and their weighting factors, we will find the count total. Okay, this is the first step in calculating the function points. The next step is the 
uh, relationship to compute the function points we are going to use an empirical relationship that empirical relationship is written here so function points total number of function points is equal to count total and which is multiplied with 0 0.65 plus 0 0.01 into sigma of fi summation of fi so what is the meaning of fi summation of fi means where here fi denotes the complexity adjustment values okay here we have used summation of fi where fi is the complexity adjustment values so these complexity adjustment values are going to be 14 in number we are having we will be having 14 complexity adjustment values in calculating the function points and count total is a value which we already calculated previously by using the five direct measurement parameters okay so i will tell you now what is what is the meaning of the complexity adjustment values so i told you these complexity adjustment values are nothing but 14 questions based on general system characteristics which may be like this so does the system require reliable backup and recovery are the data communications required? Are there distributed processing functions? Is performance critical? So the answers are taken for all these 14 questions on a scale which varies from 0 to 5. Okay, each of these 14 complexity adjustment value questions, complexity uh, adjustment factors are measured or answered using a scale from 0 to 5, where 0 is called uh, not not important or no influence or not applicable and five means it is absolutely essential okay and if it is average it has a value of three average has a value of three and no influence has a value of zero so like this every question on the complexity assessment factor has a characteristic weight associated with it every question will be answered using this characteristic weight and if it is answered as zero it means that particular complexity assessment factor has no influence on the software system if the answer is three it means it has an average influence on the software system if the answer is five it means it has a as it is essential part on the software system so based on this each of those uh, complexity adjustment values will be multiplied with their characteristic weights to find the summation of all the complexity complexity assessment values So as I told before, I told that you are going to have 14 complexity adjustment values and each of these complexity adjustment values are going to be measured on a scale. They are going to be evaluated on a scale which varies from zero to five where three means average. And we will be having, we will be using that in this function points calculation formula, okay? So here summation of Fi means that we are here we have summation of fi summation of fi means that we need to add up all the complexity adjustment values and their characteristic weights so that means each character characteristic weight will be multiplied with its complexity adjustment value for example if i say four complexity adjustment values have a characteristic weight of average then i'll be multiplying four with three if i say remaining four complexity adjustment value has a characteristic weight of zero that uh, that means i'll be multiplying four with zero okay so in this way i will be multiplying each of the complexity adjustment value with its characteristic weight and then i'll be adding all of them together to give me this summation of fi okay so we have found count total as the direct measurement of uh, the measurement parameters they are multiplied with their uh, weighing parameters and then uh, we'll be adding up all of them together to find the count total similarly summation of fi is a summation of all the complexity adjustment values uh, multiplied along with the characteristic weights okay so we saw what is complexity adjustment values we have seen the formula for computation of the function points now let's solve it let's try to understand bit with the problem so this is a problem which has been asked in ugc net exam as well as in uh, as well as in various competitive examinations consider a project with the following functional units here user inputs is given as 50 user outputs is given as 40 user enquiries is given as 35 so uf is given as 6 and 
uh, EA external interfaces is given as 4. So we need to calculate the function point of the project. Note that here uh, there is no weighting parameter given. There is no characteristic weight given for the complexity adjustment values. So in that case, you have to assume it as average. Okay, You consider it as average and proceed to do the problem. So in some problems, it may be given. In some problems, it may not be given. If it is not given, assume it as average. If it is given, then use those values in calculating the function points. So here for this given problem, uh, they have given number of user inputs is 50. So I've written the count here. And then they have given the number of user outputs is 40. Number of user enquiries is 35. Number of user files is 6 and number of external interfaces is four. So everything is given in the question is being written here. Then the weighting factor, we need to multiply each count of the measurement parameter with its weighting factor. But the weighting factor is not given in the question. So the weighting factor has to be considered as average. As I told you initially, every uh, there are prefixed weighting factor values are prefixed by the organization. If the weighting factor is average, then the values are four, five, 4, 10, and 7, which is if the weighting factor for user inputs is average, its value is 4. If the weighting factor for user outputs is average, its weighting factor is 5. For user inquiries, the average weighting factor value is 4, and so on. Okay. Similarly, if the weighting factor is not average, if it is simple, then its value is different. Okay. So accordingly, if it is given, if it is mentioned as simple in the question, you have to use that particular value. So here, if, since nothing is given, we have we are using assuming it as average and using those values of 4, 5, 4, 10, and 7. So multiply each count of the measurement parameter with a weighting factor. And uh, I have written it as total here. So 50 into 4 is 200, 40 into 5 is 200, and so on. So and then uh, I would be adding up all these values. All these total values are added up together to find the count total. Okay. So count total is now found. What is the next step? Next step is to find the summation of complexity assessment or adjustment values. So here we need to find the summation of complexity assessment values, which is summation of FI. So we know that we have 14 complexity adjustment assessment values, adjustment values. And uh, since nothing is being given in the question, their values are not given in the question. That is, their characteristic weights are not given. We assume that the characteristic weights are average. So average means the value of the characteristic weight is 3. We have 14 complexity adjustment values. So 14 is multiplied with 3 to get the summation of FI. And then we multiply it with the summation of FI is multiplied with 0 0.01. 14 into 3 is 42, and it is multiplied with 0 0.01 to get 0 0.42. 0 0.42 is added with 0 0.65 to get 1.07. We already got this count total as 628. So we multiply this count total with this summation value to get 671.96, which is approximately equivalent to 672. Okay, so. In the question, going back to our question, you can see that four answers are given here and the right answer would be 672, okay? So we have learned now how to calculate function points. We have learned from this that function points is a software oriented metric which is used to achieve the, which is used to measure which is a unit of measurement to measure the business functionality of the software product. We have got a value here. This is useful for us to assess how much of functionality is provided by the software product. We use five types of measurement parameters, which will be multiplied with their weighting parameters. If it is average, we'll use a value of 4, 5, 4, 10, and 7. And then we have characteristic weights for the complexity assessment values. Each complexity assessment value will be multiplied with its characteristic weight and then the summation is found out and then it is applied to the formula. Hope you have understood what is the concept of function points. If you like the video, if you found it useful, do give a thumbs up, do share it with your friends and subscribe to the channel. See you in my next, next video. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.